Raising him was not a hard thing to do. My name's Julio Cicchetti. I was the chief of police for about 12 years. And I went on the police department in 1952, retired in 1987. It's about 34 years and enjoyed working for the Stockton Police Department and the city of Stockton immensely. Nick was our firstborn and he was uh, at, rather easy to raise because uh, other than learning, my wife and I had learned on how to handle a young child like that, why everything was easy all the way up through high school. He was always in, uh, involved in sports, baseball principally. When he uh, decided to go to college, he went to Sac State, graduated there with a, with a public administration degree. When I was a watch commander, I, he used to ride with me sometimes on the midnight to eight shift for a while. And uh, he got a good, a, good, a good sense of what a police officer does and how they do it and the things that they go through. And he decided he wanted to be one early. He went on the sheriff's department as a cadet and actually became a deputy sheriff for a while. And then when he took the test for the Stockton Police Department, he passed and uh, came on the department in 1973, I think, and uh, uh, enjoyed it very much. Well, I remember I was uh, sitting in my office actually talking to the captain of our police reserve Someone came in and told us we had an officer down uh, at, at, at a uh, house and, uh, in the west part of town. So I got in my car, went to the place, walked in and saw my son, Nick, laying on the floor, being attended to by two uh, fire paramedics. And uh, you could tell by the way the fire paramedics were working on him that, uh, that there was it was over with that he, he passed on. The ambulance came and uh, took him to Dameron Hospital. We went over there where the doctor looked at him and pronounced him. Uh, it, was, it was terrible. I can't, I, I can't remember a worse day in my life uh, than, than that day right there. Based on the current state of affairs and with the pandemic public health crisis, we can't have the ceremony like we would normally do. So this is my way to honor our fallen heroes. It's very important to keep, keep alive, you know, the officers and what they do and uh, how they do it and the problems they have when uh, things don't go right. And uh, I, it's good for the community, it's good for the uh, police officers, and it's good for a learning point for young people also.